but my point is like that to me felt like I don't want to say laziness, but I don't know a better word for it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and I guess in a way, the song that he heard, you know, harder, better, faster, stronger, meant something to him, and he obviously did add shit on top of it. But like, I mean, I obviously don't know the deal. I'm sure Daft Punk got their yeah, yeah, golden yeah. nugget out of it because yeah. not not to say anything, but like after he did that, what was it three years later they released a new album? Yeah, yeah. And for the first time in like 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. so like I think I don't know. I'm, I don't follow Daft Punk that. Hard, hard, but, but I don't know. Like sampling to me feels like one of those things that, like, I don't know. It's like you gotta be original, right? You gotta be creative. And, and to me, if you're not creative enough to, to stand away from other people, like, like, imitation, is cool. You know, if you want to sound like, you know, right, somebody, that's fine by me. But mm -hmm. actually taking their song, naming it the same thing, <laughs> yeah. and using it yeah. in your song, yeah. Yeah. that to me feels like too far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I could be wrong on that, but like I said, it's a gray area for me. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it was complete shit that he mm -hmm. did that. But I know for a fact I got really annoyed when people were like, "If you're the new Kanye song, this is a fucking new song." <laughs> like when people do covers, that's one thing. But this guy's walking around like this is his fucking yeah. song. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's it's there's there's a fine line I think. Yeah, yeah, there definitely is. Absolutely. For me personally, to toe when I listen to music, but I mean, you know that's the funny thing I tell people. Even though I was in a band, I play a musical instrument. I play a couple of music, harmonica and bass and and, and and stuff like that. But like I'm not as heavy into music as you would think. Mm -hmm. I'm really not. Like I just listen to the fucking jazz station when I'm in the car or driving around because I got tired of hearing the same eight rock songs over and over, and I I will not. Su subject myself to country music and and listening to the oldie station is the same 80 songs over and yeah, over yeah. so like it gets it gets stale so like I've, I've, I've been forced into the jazz which is fine by me but you know that's that's one of the things is like everybody's starting to sound the same because they find one sound that works well yeah and that's i think true. Yeah. i think that's and i'm going somewhere with this i promise yeah, yeah. I, I think that's why people are starting to lean more towards the, uh, I, what do they call it, EDM, yeah. electronic dance music, yeah. and electronically produced music, such as the stuff that you make, because it's different yeah. Yeah. Than, than, you know, the guitar, the bass, the drummer, mm -hmm. with the dual pedals, and the, the singer says, yeah, at this moment, you know, and then they, they scream and they go back into the breakdown, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, I think the, the repetitiveness... Although it's simple, simple sometimes better, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I was texting him the other day, I think was it was yesterday? Yes. I said, yeah, your shit's awesome. I said, I love it. I said, it's not even, it's not even what I would listen to. Like, mm -hmm. if you were like, well, what do you listen to? I would never say, like, trap music or, right. or, or rap or, yeah. or any of that. I just, I don't listen to it. I'm just not into it. You know, I don't, I don't hate it. You know, the country. Um, but I just, I'm not into it. But mm -hmm. even his shit, I'm like, this is, it's still good, though. Like, yeah, yeah. I can appreciate appreciate it yeah thank you I and appreciate that I, I, anytime man and I, and I think that's where art should be at all times mm -hmm. although you may not like it you can still appreciate it right. you know what I mean yeah. and I think in in, in in times have gotten better but you know like not so long ago it wasn't that way you know what I mean yeah yeah. I mean granted I know it's kind of ironic I'm sitting here like a fucking hate country but you know what it's America. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. fucking right to sit up and talk about it. Oh, they're singing about America half the fucking time anyway. So, I mean, like, who am I to fucking to down with country? But, like, I don't like them. I would never pay money for them to stay alive, for that genre to stay alive. If yeah. they went away tomorrow, I would be happier. <laughs> but it doesn't chase me through my life, so I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, it's kind of how I feel about most things. This, uh, this is, goes back to that whole, like, gray area in life. Black yeah. and white yeah. in the gym, you know what I mean? So, these other artists you work with, um, you named a few names that I've never yeah, heard of in my yeah, entire life, yeah. and I'll probably never remember. Um, I, in fact, have already forgotten all of them. <laughs> uh, uh, just because I, um, not that I don't care, but just, you, 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 you name dropped like eight yeah, people. Man. Yeah, there was a couple people. And then I, <laughs> I lost track after, like, Ichabob James. I was like, <laughs> I, I heard that name, and I was like, cool, I recognize that. Oh, shit, he said three more. I was going to catch all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But these guys, uh, do, you, do you just, um, do they find you on, like, because <coughs> you're pretty active on, what, like, SoundCloud? And, um, and I'm more active on my uh, Instagram. Instagram and, and, what, Twitter? I always, yeah, Twitter. Instagram and Twitter are probably both both of my most uh, updated, most looked mm. at um, social medias. But with Ichabod, I was a fan prior. 
Okay. I had seen his stuff. It was. It's kind of like a like a. It's it's a weird situation. I explained it to a couple people, but I'll explain it to you guys. So I um I was I was a fan from the from the second I saw he posted a video. It's called ketamine. It's pretty dope. It's a really weird like trippy video. Anyways. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that video, I was like, man, this guy has something. Like, I was like, whatever this guy's doing, I need to be a part of it somehow. I mean, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, obviously, I seen the video. There was a couple videos that came out after that. Um, all crazy, like, really cool visuals. Um, and then he released his project with Lex, which was insane. Lex Luger, famous producer, he made Hard in the Paint, BMS. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Ham with Kanye West. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they released a project together. Um, fucking insane. Like I love that project. Play that shit all the time. Anyways, in that in that in that weird time gap after that that tape came out, I had I, I was always hitting him up on Instagram, you know, showing support. Like I bought the album, like always just like, you know, adding him and shit. And I started getting heavier into my beat making and stuff. So I would always post videos and link him to it. And then I sent him a gang of beats one uh, a while back, and he hit me. He hit me back up, man. I was like, I was like starstruck or some shit. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, As yeah, weird yeah. as that sounds, I was like, man, like, yeah. <laughs> I was tripping out because, like, you know, you go from like <clears throat> seeing this person making this stuff, right. making this music, and you're like a fan of it. Like you fucking like you listen to it in your own time. Right, it basically right, right, turns right, into right. like like you know, there's a fan artist weird gap where it's like the, you'll never be able to work with that because right. you, ad, you admire it you I know it's call weird it in, 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 I talk about it in one of my videos I said it was uh, I'm, I'm a consumer yeah, I've been a consumer basically. Yeah, of yeah, the fitness yeah. industry since I was right. 15 yeah. and now that I'm making videos I'm a producer even though yeah. I'm not selling anything I'm trying to sell yeah. it in my name Right. so I'm now a producer and there's that, that line right there mm -hmm. and there's guys I look up to you know Mark Lobliner um, uh, obviously all the Olympia guys Phil Heath, Kai yep. Green. There's all these guys, I'm sure, all these names you don't even fucking know, right? No, no, exactly, no. exactly. But these guys are all true producers. I mean, uh, Mark Lobliner actually runs a supplement company. Mm -hmm. um, and then these, you know, Kai Green, he's a Mr. Olympia runner up three years in a row now. Poor Kai. People's champ. And then there's Phil Heath, who's the, the four time Mr. Olympia right now. He's got his own supplement company. He's a producer as well. And I'm sitting here like, I'm in the back row with these guys now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not on the same level as, say, Elliot Hulse, who, who's a, I'm a huge fan of. He's right there in St. Petersburg. I've met him before. A very humble, great guy. If you get the chance to meet Elliot, come to St. Petersburg here in Florida. Go see him. He's a great guy. He really is. Um, you know, the, the, the Hodge twins, are YouTube famous people, you know. Uh, even to an extent, uh, what the fuck's his name? Um, Dom Mazzetti with Bro Science. It's a farce, but it's funny shit. And he's funny. And he's good. Right. And he's also a producer. And so I understand what you mean between, you know, I'm looking up to these guys, but then right. when I met Elliot in real life, it was, I, I yeah, yeah. I, you know, you, you know, you guys, people I was with, I was starstruck. Yeah. It's a very humbling, strange experience. And you know me, <laughs> yeah. you know me, I, I don't shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'll talk to anybody. I'll, I'm that guy who walks into the party and starts talking to everybody. I don't give a shit. I just, I just, cause, cause who I, am, who I am. Relax, Will, you're starting to stutter. I'm getting excited. When I met him, I couldn't talk. Wow. I was yeah. just, I, I just sat there and just like, I couldn't look him in the eyes. I couldn't anything. And you know, that's not me. I, I'll yeah, stare yeah. you, I'll thousand yards stare you in the fucking eyes. Yeah. You know, I don't give a shit. But like him, I, I couldn't do it because it was like, it's Elliot fucking Hulse. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's next to me. So yeah. I, I understand that like, I'm just a consumer. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know? It was very much so that thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man, I got a, I got an email back. Homie hit me back up. Like, I don't know. Sometime last year, in the latter half of last year, and like you said, man, like I'm, I'm the fucking consumer and shit. Like I couldn't believe it. Like I was like, man, like homie wants to work, and he actually thinks my work is good, you know? Right. So that really turned <laughs> me out. So I mean, uh, I said I kept sending him some beats, and we released the Elroy Jetson again. Link in my bio, product placement. <laughs> we we released that song, man, and it's a dope, really dope, crazy. It's called, it's called a plug. Yeah, there it's you go. Plug, a plug. A plug, yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yeah, man. So it's a crazy collaboration. <laughs> I it's a... That. That's like the Aaron Jesse guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. That's it. Yeah. It's a funny. It's like, it's funny, but it's like good, too. Yeah, you know? it's, 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 it's a, it's, yeah. I like it. Awesome. I like it a lot. It's yeah. a really good song, actually. I like dope, it. awesome. Awesome record. Buckwheat Bill, Ichabod Veins, me, like, 
it's a wrap, man. That song was crazy, and yeah. I was so humbled and so happy that happened. And we're still working, man. We're still working, so we got more shit coming. But that's the fucking beautiful part right yeah. there, man. Like, it's, it's, that's my dream, man. Like, I want to be able to be, like, working with guys like Elliot, Kali Muscle. Even though I don't always agree with everything Kali Muscle has to say, I still respect what he's done. He's, he's this dude, he was a, he was a, he was an ex-con. Uh-huh. And he picked up bodybuilding while he was in prison, got out, and got YouTube famous. You remember the bodybuilder from the Geico commercials? Yes. That's him. Okay. So he's like, he's making. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. in a movie now, all this stuff. But like, you know, guys like him, I would love to work with him. I would love to work with Don Mazzetti. Although I, I, I tend to be a little more serious, so I don't know if he would want to work with me. I, 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 I try to show my like funny side out a little bit more, but I, I don't think it's enough for him. I'm hoping it is. I love Don Mazzetti. And Scooby. Uh, 1965 or 67, 69, whatever he is. He's a great guy, too. You know, Elliot, all these dudes, you know, if I could just work with one of them, that would be nuts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and this yeah. is just YouTube stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? Technically free stuff, you know, they have advertising on a lot of them when you get past, I think it's like 15,000, 20,000 yeah. subscribers, you know, but but these guys are good. They're they're all intelligent. Uh, the Hodge twins, I love them, too. You know, this, these are all like fitness name drops I'm doing right now. If, if you're into fitness, you, you'll know who I'm talking yeah. about. Just like if, if they're into the kind of music you're into, they'll know who you were talking yeah, about. Yeah. Even though I don't, I've heard the shit. It's good shit, I think. I like it. I like it a lot. So I, 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 I can't even imagine the experience of actually getting to work with somebody you, you like idolize. It's awesome. It's incredible. It's like, I, yeah. I can't, can't fathom that, that feeling. Like just thinking about getting to work with somebody like one of the guys I just mentioned yeah, is just yeah. like Frank Yang. I love him too. He's not too much into fitness anymore, but I love him. He's a nut job. He's crazy. <laughs> I love him. He's crazy. He does all these crazy, weird, like um, psychedelic like videos and shit. He'll, he'll put like creatine on his arm and he'll snort it off his arm. And <laughs> he'll put like creatine right here on his inner thigh and have like a chick snort it off his leg. And, and the dude's nuts. I love him. He's just this crazy little Asian dude. But, um, you know, I just to work with somebody like that, I just, it's, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's, that's, I'm, I am happy for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, and, like, it, people that know me, that know me well, like, know that when I, when I see people doing well that I don't like, that's drive for me to work harder. Yeah. Because I'm like, this fucking piece of shit is doing better than me. Yeah. I need to, to work right yeah. now at whatever. And it's kind of fucked up, but it's like, it's good motivation, I think. Yeah. And then when I see my friends doing well, that makes me feel good. Yeah. Because it doesn't, it doesn't drive me to do anything. It's just like a good feeling. I can have pride in knowing like, my, my boy made it, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. You know, it's like um, one of our friends, he was a chef. A dude's like, he's not even, he barely out of high school, barely out of culinary school. And he already made a manager at, at a very, very prestigious restaurant. That's awesome. Elvis, right? Right, yeah. exactly. But then that restaurant shut down and so <laughs> he starts working at a chain restaurant and he's already working his way up to manager there yeah. so it's like it, I love this guy because he just he doesn't get shut down and he's the true American dream too and I think that's uh, that's something I wanted to tie in a little bit the, the fact that like just just a little bit of ph philosophy thought between you and I just because we have these conversations sometimes but like I think Americans people born in the United States tend to not have appreciation for a lot of things. Okay. Now you and I, we were brought up like shit dirt poor. Right. So we appreciate every little bit. The fact that we're sitting in an apartment that I, I rent, like still to this day, like I look around and I'm like, holy shit, I can afford an apartment. Right. You know, with a roof that doesn't leak and like running clean water right. and stuff like that. Like these things don't seem appreciative. I didn't have that shit when I was growing up sometimes. Sometimes I didn't have water. Sometimes I didn't have electricity. I couldn't just turn on AC whenever I wanted, you know, that sort of thing. You know, I couldn't leave the lights on, all that stuff. Not that I leave the lights on now. Anyway, it's a good habit. Turn your fucking lights off. But, <laughs> but um, my point is, Elvis reminds me of that because he's from uh, Ecuador, which is a uh, South American country. If you're that shitty at geography, get a fucking map and learn a little bit about the world, goddammit.